for those of you who wanted to see the news story, I'm going to put it after this. Basically, they contacted me and wanted to interview me about the penis mailbox prank. I told them my name was Gary Winthorpe, and I wore a suit and tie and went over to my mom's house and did this interview, and it was really funny. I got the footage, though, and I'm going to put it right here for you guys to see. Thanks for watching. What one Southwest Florida son gave his mom. Four in your corners, Michael Cadigan is showing us his out of the box idea. I just told her I had her, a surprise for her. I thought I was getting a Harley or a car, and um, that's what I got. What she got was a big surprise when the blindfold came off, and she laid eyes on her present, but she wasn't angry. I can't be mad, it's from my son. She still laughs when she sees the new mailbox. It certainly sticks out more than the other run-of-the-mill mailboxes. It's about six, six feet, six inches. Weighs in about 500 pounds. It's, um, uh, how about we have those who live on this street have a crack at describing it first? A mailbox uh, made of, of a, uh, mounted in a vertical, uh, uh, vertically aligned uh, wooden uh, sculpture. Large, uh, uh, round cylinder statue that resembles a piece of anatomy. There's no mistaking it for, say, a dolphin or a whale or some of the other uh, unique Florida art. Definitely no mistaking it for a dolphin, although some neighbors have been flipping out about it. Uh, some of the neighbors put uh, real estate magazines in her mailbox to basically tell her to move. So they, and they give her like some dirty looks. But what about the person that is supposed to put mail in the mailbox? Is this legal? Can I have this up? I guess so. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Even though it was put up a few days ago, it already has become a landmark. As part of my weekly forced marches through this neighborhood, I use that as a homing beacon to uh, determine my position and chart my course. But it's safe to say after Gary's latest gift, he doesn't have to go out of his way with the holidays fast approaching. I don't think he needs to give me anything. This this was enough for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Cannigan, Fox 4, in your corner. He's ahead of the curve when it comes to creativity. Gary says he's going to try to keep cooking up artistic ways to push the envelope, maybe even make the envelope bulge a little bit to get people talking. And he might have his work cut out for it. <laughs>